Welcome to the bottom of the rabbit hole. Salute to all the yellow pilled subscribers tuning in. You are appreciated. In this video, David Mitchell talks about how he landed inside the pit, better known as the Matrix 4 writing room. And after that, I'll share my reaction to the interview. And if this is your first time down here or you want to know every aspect of the Matrix media, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out on any Matrix 4 updates. In the Matrix 4, writer David Mitchell reveals 20 years has passed video here on this channel. We found out that Lana Wachowski, Alexander Heman, and David Mitchell called their collaborative group The Pit. Just a few weeks later, BBC Sounds caught up with Mitchell and asked him how he got the Project Ice Cream gig. Here's the clip. Okay, so how did you get the gig? Uh, the Wachowski siblings uh, adapted my novel Cloud Atlas for film, uh, and we became friends then. We've stayed friends. Uh, I did some work on a show called Sensate that Lana was involved with as well. Lana Wachowski um, and her sister Lily were involved with. I uh, worked on season two of that. And, uh, and so one thing led to another and uh, she asked if I would be interested in um, she had an idea for a new Matrix film and uh, I thought about it for about seven and a half seconds and uh, and said yeah go on then and that's how I got the gig in those seven and a half seconds <laughs> what was going through your mind um, because there's a lot of pressure right with a franchise as, as loved as that you just, uh, the pressure comes from different directions and applies in different places. Yes, there's the pressure from fans of the trilogy, fans of the first film, who it might be, might well prove to, uh, it might well prove to be the case. They're simply impossible to please. Whatever you do, uh, I didn't really think about that. I thought more of the studio pressure, uh, as you'll know if you've seen, if you've spent any time in this world. A talk making the film is relatively easy making any film is relatively easy compared to all the studio politics you have to undergo and all productions just lurch from crisis to crisis that's normal that's normal in film world um and so i was a little bit nervous in those seven and a half seconds that any of that might be coming my way but then essentially in the writer's room that's in some ways the nicest part of the whole enterprise you just building something with your friends. Uh, it's after that stage when that needs to be turned into a film. That's generally where the trouble starts. So Lana's kind of my body shield in terms of uh, the unpleasant parts of film production. I don't really have to get involved in any of that. Mitchell pointed out something that has been very obvious to me ever since The Matrix 4 was officially announced. And that is the fact that there will certainly be a section of fans whose expectations simply can't be met. Expecting the fourth sequel in a franchise to outdo the original is unrealistic at best. Is it possible? Sure. Is that outcome likely? Absolutely not. So I'm relieved to hear Mitchell say that fan pleasing was not generating creative pressure. What I found interesting is the real concern he talked about with regard to filmmaking is the pressure that comes from the studio itself. Bill Pope and Lily Wachowski both made references to this issue and the cinematographer explained what went wrong in the sequel's video. I'll leave links in the description for anyone who missed it. Bill Pope talked about how the crew was constantly being watched by the studio during production of the sequels. Pope also mentioned how the Wachowskis really had each other's backs when it came to battling the studio. And I also noticed that Mitchell mentioned the fact that Lana Wachowski acts as his buffer so that he doesn't have to deal with that pressure directly. Which would lead me to believe that Lana Wachowski is prepared for these challenges. Since 8 was a Netflix original so there may have been less pressure on that project in this regard. But if we're lucky, one of the potential silver linings of the pandemic is that maybe, just maybe, less people who don't need to be on set won't be there to spoil the creative process. We can only hope. Either way, I feel better knowing that at least one Wachowski is on board to defend their production. Speaking of production, gaffer Jared Waldron has been posting pictures of lights on his Instagram page, and we've already seen images of cameras, the real question is, has the action resumed and the cameras started rolling yet? Hard to know for sure. They are definitely keeping a tight lid on the details of Project Ice Cream. On a side note, congratulations to actor Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, who has recently received an Emmy nomination for Best Supporting Actor in HBO's Watchmen. 
actress Jessica Henwick also posted a congrats shout out on her Instagram story in support of Yaya's nomination with belated birthday wishes. I'd imagine that the Sense8 cast members have carried over bonds and friendships from their previous project, and I think there is a good chance all that teamwork and positive energy will be captured on screen. The casting is solid, the writing team is strong, and assuming Lana Wachowski can win those creative process battles with the studio, we should be in for quite the new installment to the Matrix franchise. Don't forget, you can find the yellow source code mask link down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and remember, as one realizes that one is a dream figure in another person's dream, that is self-awareness.